why is it I mean there's so many options what do I choose how do I know what to choose right hey my friends Jean-Serge Gagnon today we're going to talk about creating a funnel with one of the easiest funnel builder tools I've used in a long time I've used a bunch of them it's going to be uh it's called business center and I'm going to show you how to create a funnel really easily with business center and we're going to get to that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so funnels I mean every business online needs funnels opt-in funnels uh one-time offer funnels um uh sales funnels there's all sorts of different funnels webinar funnels um ebook funnels <laughs> there's so many different kinds of funnels right but if you want to create a simple funnel business center is what you need so we're going to show you how that works and before we get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're definitely going to want to go check out the video in the blog post at cis418.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen and showing you exactly what I'm talking about here so let's get to that right now and show you what I'm talking about so you've seen funnels right I mean this is an example of a funnel here that basically shows you um just an in ebook right I've got another funnel here that I created a while ago which is even simpler than that it's not even doesn't even fill the screen right so how do you create these funnels in an easy way I don't know about you but I've used click funnels before and I probably should have loaded up that page before click funnels uh and I do have an account with click funnels I've created funnels there let me just log in and kind of show you what I've done which you know I haven't done a lot with click funnels but if I go to my funnels you can see I've got a couple of them and I've done uh, let's say this active group funnel here it's seven steps I find that click funnels a little complicated you know even though it's got lots of advanced features but this is a, such a complicated process to create a funnel with click funnels actually let's go in here let's try to create a new funnel here right and if I just say build a new funnel and I just go in here I have to choose the kind of funnel I want right uh I, what do I want to do collect email sell products or whatever so let's do this collect emails uh test uh, and then just build funnel and this is like uh, like to me I'm a tech technical person so to me when I look at this I'm like why is it so comp why is it I mean there's so many options what do I choose how do I know what to choose right how do you make this simple so here's the other uh editor I've used too it's called funnelizer and to me funnelizer is maybe a little easier but it's also a lot less advanced but now with business center it's amazing what you can do and how easy it is to create a funnel so you just go into marketing right here and then you go to funnels and then you just say I want to create a new funnel I'm going to create a new funnel it's called a simple master of simple let's just create the same funnel I have in the other one and I'm going to say create new funnel add new funnel right so I click on that that I've got a new funnel now I want to just this is just going to be uh let's say it's a lead magnet that's all I want it lets me it creates for me the two basic pages in the funnel and then I just go in here and I edit this now the first thing it does it gives me the option of what do I have now there you know, over time I'm sure there's gonna be more templates here but I just want a basic one like this this one here or maybe this one or maybe this one and I just choose the one I want so let's just choose this one and I can see what it looks like I'm going to say use this page funnel I'm going to change this here to an image choose the image and let's upload something uh, I've got the image in here it's going to be into my uh da -da -da -da, over here into my actually I think it's right up here it's been so long I got to upload the image right that 10 where is it I should have looked this up 
uh let me just check that out I'll be right back all right so I found it <laughs> there it is sorry it took me uh well it was obviously you you did not uh, see how long it took me to do that let me just uh, where is that right over here all right so we have the uh this simple a uh, cover I just want to use this one so I'm going to put that in here and that's going to be my cover obviously it could be a nicer 3d version or something right but okay so then over here I want to change the text if I go back to my original file I have here um I'm just going to put the same text I have right so I'll just make it very simple whoops right here so basically the way it works is that you just click on the element right and then you can see it right here to go edit it right so this text here if I want to edit this I just got to click it and then over here I can edit it with all the different the font size and everything else right so if I go back to my other one I want to take this and I want to put that inside of a little box over here uh, let's just put that here like this now uh, let's just go back here so as you can see it's relatively simple to do this I'm just going to do that like this now this is not the same page obviously right it's not the same but let's just do that like this become a master I can center this let's make this centered like that make it a little bit bigger text make it bold oops I gotta make that like this make it bold let's make it a little bit bigger 24 let's make it bigger 36 there we go right and see what else do we have we have this then we have just enter you know below we don't need to put that there actually I can make let's make it the same color right so then I take this again I go here and I just make this a different color right let's make it let's make it this red there you go right now it's red right okay so now over here I'm going to say the same similar stuff I have in here I actually don't have anything else so I can actually hide that uh let's say I don't have I don't need this I can actually make this go away I don't want this I go back to here and then this section here actually let's go to sections so sections and there's this. let's just make this so this is the actual section in here I don't this is the text oh here's the other thing about this editor right any of these things if I want to go and you know make something hidden or something I can actually select this this is the list right here I can make this hidden right now it's gone right and I can make this whatever the text is here get free ebook now right this is going to be the same as this where's the text there's the text right and I go back to here and I want this same text on this button right so this is going to be right here get this ebook now and what did I have anything else uh, your free ebook will be emailed to the address you enter above now uh, let's go in here click here for instant access is fine I'll probably leave it that there but this text here I want this to be like this actually I probably don't want this let's get that not even showing this here is the button that's another button I don't want this other button I'm going to hide it there we go so now we just have this right and I could probably put extra text but this is you know uh this get this free book is kind of silly but that's what I had before I'm just going to leave it like this I click on save up here and I click on publish right okay so now now I have the very basics now what I want is the pop-up that asks for the email right so I go back to here and by the way I can click on this little house to go to the very beginning of it this is where the pop-up form is I could click on that it shows me the pop-up form right and uh, this is going to be to get so let's just go back to here what I want is da -da 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 -da. do we have anything in this one this one doesn't even have a so I'm just going to put the text I want here so I just click on here and simply enter your best email below to get uh to 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 receive the ebook now 
in your inbox right so let's just do that yes I want instead of yes I want it send it to me now right enter your email address and that's pretty much it okay so now you've got the basics of the file that's that's <laughs> that's pretty much it except now we just need to integrate it with your autoresponder right so for me I actually have an autoresponder let's just go back to uh the settings so one thing you got to do though is you no matter what funnel tool you're using you got to set up integrations right so the integration between your funnel tool and your email autoresponder list if you want somebody to enter their email to send so that they so that you can send them something right then you have to have an integration with your autoresponder now I already have my autoresponder set up but if you're uh starting out in business center you're going to need to go into admin dashboard or account setup and then you're going to have to go to integrations and when you go to integrations you can add the say Aweber or Mailchimp there's a couple of different ones you can have you just say add new integration give it a name email or Aweber right whatever whatever you want to use and then down here you choose what kind of integration it is right so for me it's Aweber I already have it but when you do this I don't know if it'll let me will it, no I guess I I'm already connected so I'm not going to do it again but after you've done this it'll pop up your a Aweber integration it'll ask you for your email and password so you can log in so you can connect the two together and then after you've done that you'll have it here in the list right so I've got it right here if I edit this uh, I guess I can't I don't yeah so once you have it there right once it's in your integrations your global and then your global rules are something else but if once you have it into your integrations then when I go back to the dashboard if I go back to marketing and funnels and then I look at the funnel that I just created just now this master of simple one I just click on the edit icon right here that takes me to the actual funnel I've been editing uh if I just go to here go back to it click the little tool icon I guess you call it that goes into the funnel itself and now I want to edit the form actions right so what happens when somebody puts their email in that form this pop-up form oh and before we do that let's make sure that this button here pops up the form so the uh, where is that at oh there it is click action right show pop-up form that's what I want right I want it to pop up the form I also want the image to do the same thing so I click on the image and then it says right here the click action show pop-up form that's what I want same thing so it's already set up the right way so now I go back to the funnel oh no I didn't want to go back to the funnel. sorry I go back to the home here I click on the pop-up form and now I want to click on either the email box or the button to activate so that I can because I I want to configure what happens when somebody puts their email in here so that's inside the form action right um, so when I go here it says page form settings right when I click on this let's go back to home here let's do this again so if I go back to home on the funnel I click on the pop-up form and then I click on the let's say the button you could click here or here it doesn't really matter you click on something that's part of the form so click on the button and then you get page form settings so you click on that I know it seems to be lots of steps but they're all very simple steps if you understand you know the basics of how integrations work which you know to be honest it's not something you you'll understand in the beginning but if you just follow these steps right let's start over let's go back start follow the step go once you're on the home page number one you click on the pop-up form number two you click on the button on the form number three you click on form page settings all right so that takes you to the form settings where you just go into integrations and then you choose what happens when they enter right now it says there's no integration rules there's nothing so nothing's going to happen if you create this page and you don't do this nothing's going to happen when they put their email nothing right so now we want to do 
add a new rule so whenever they create the contact is created which means when they put their email address in and, and press the button what do I want to happen I want Aweber to be triggered to be told hey Aweber this happened what is it that I want to do I want to add them to a list I which list do I want you choose the list you want monetize your passion is the list is that the one mm, no it's not the list that I want is top 10 simple online strategies where is it uh, or is it just called master of simple name that's the thing right with Hayweber they don't sort them I don't know why this doesn't get sorted but free leads simple uh, when you have a lot of lists this is what happens right you end up with lots of lists I should probably go look in Aweber then let's go look in Aweber to go find what list that is and let's log in it's probably gonna ask me to log in oh no I guess I'm already logged in well maybe not am I yes I am. I go back to here uh master is it master mm, no it's not okay so let's search for uh top 10 simple it must be this one I guess let's go look at that list I haven't checked it in a while messages uh no my yeah sure my messages automations need to look at the campaigns which is the main one is this one here's your thing yeah that's the one okay so it's called simple online strategies so if I go back here this is the one I want is simple online strategies can you see it can you see it simple online strategies well it must be near the top isn't it success success snapchat webinar 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 bit connect all sorts of crap there it is simple on the strategy okay so now I want to add them and I'm going to add a tag here I'm just going to say it's called business center I'm just going to add it this that way I know that these subscribers that came in through this funnel are from the business center and add rules so as you can see right here what we're doing is we're adding an integration rule which is basically whenever the contact gets created inside of the funnel right then the Aweber integration gets triggered to add the user to a list this is the list I choose and this is a tag the tag is optional you don't have to put it but I'm just going to say add rule now the other thing I want is in my case I'm integrated with the MS MLSP CRM so I'm going to add another rule this is not necessarily something you need but depending on whether you have it or not it's going to be uh, another thing add label and this is going to be simple simple master of simple there you go. okay so now I've got this I can just close this over here I can save it and publish it so now my page is published and the integration is done so that means if anybody goes to that page they're going to end up on my list right uh they're going to end up on my list and they're going to receive the emails that are part of this list. so in my case this list is a list of 10 emails right I've got a bunch of emails here that are going to people that are um, receiving this right so as you can see the percentage of opens is not too bad right 24 percent 30 percent it's not the it's not a that's that's normal people don't open emails right but this is actually pretty good above 30 percent is considered good so they're pretty it's considered ex excellent I should say right but as you can see some of them are 20 but above 10 percent is considered good above 30 is obviously excellent right so anything between 10 and 30 is is really good it's still good right but I as you can see I have this list uh that's basically sends out the ebook sends out an email if you saw my episode from last week I talk about creating a, a follow-up sequence 
without you having to really worry too much about creating extra content if you've already got an ebook you can actually take each part of the ebook and send it as a new email right as you can see that's what I'm doing here right um I can actually review these uh, no no not here where do I um, oh I have to go edit the campaign to be able to see the messages otherwise but that's kind of how that works right this is this is what uh this is the funnel now you get the funnel page built right here now let me show you a couple other cool things you can do with business center funnel editor right if I want to add something in here right if I want to go here I just say add a new item and let's just say add social icons which um where did why did it not oh the social icons you basically have to have a, a new button let's say I add Facebook and let's say I add uh, Pinterest and I add you know I don't know Twitter let's say LinkedIn and Snapchat okay so now underneath the button I now I have all these you know they can follow me or something right which by the way I wouldn't recommend because that's the the extent of a funnel is you know you want to have one thing they can do right which is get the ebook right so I'm gonna you know take that out of there go back here I can just say oops this social icons I just want to delete it I'm just going to delete it delete confirm the deletion and it's gone right but let's say I want to add another some more text let's add some more text and uh, let's just um, put the whoops learn all about the methods that leaders are not telling you about so I'm just going to do that and let's just leave that like that now that's right here right so now let's just save it publish so you see it's underneath the button so let's just say I want to do something else I want to center it there uh, whoops this whole thing center it this so now it's centered right underneath here I can make it a little bit bigger too let's make it 28 and let's say I want that to be on top of the button so now what I do is I go back to the list of all the items in this section and I just take this and I move it I want to move it up here there you go now it's right right there so it's very simple uh tool to use right and the other thing you can do too is I can look at what does it look like on a tablet right what does it look like on a mob on mobile on a phone and um lets me see the like the preview of it right so now I'm just going to save this publish it uh that leaders are not telling you learn about I have the about there twice right so I'm going to take that out learn all the secrets the secrets of attraction marketing the secrets. let's leave that there save that like this publish there we go so now we have this and that's kind of this you know get this free with this let's just edit this I don't like that <laughs> uh, um oh masters of online marketing no secrets all right so there you go so I don't know uh let's just get rid of this I don't need this uh you can too there <laughs> right so that's just uh, you know as you can see it's relatively easy to create a opt-in page now the next page if I go back to the funnel here up top right I click the back funnel whoops now I have the two you know the two pages right the opt-in page the thank you page now as you can see the thank you page says draft because I haven't edited and saved it yet so if I click on the edit here again because this is the first time I've, I've chosen this page it's going to give me the options for what kind of thank you page I want right so I'm just going to use this one this has a calendar on it this one has a booker call um 
I'm, I'm going to use this one so just go like this and then use page template and in this particular case I don't want to have a I don't want to have them to book anything so I'm just going to go back to here uh, let's go back to the home and by the way home is on the page not on the funnel because you know the funnel can have multiple pages right in this case we're doing a funnel with only two pages so the home inside the editor is just for the home of that one page so now I don't want to have the calendar I'm just going to hide the calendar you could delete it but you know what if you want to add it it's easier to just hide it so this is the download I'm not going to do this because I'm not getting them to download it from the page although you could do that you could just have a link to your uh, you know so I'm going to take that out as well hide this <coughs> now this is all I have and this one here could say check check your oops check your inbox for the free you should get it within a few moments a few minutes all right so save that congrats instead of uh, you're in I'm gonna say, well I guess you can just say you're in that's fine publish so now it's published now this of course could be a video where I say thank you and all that and actually I think if I go back to this one and I go to the to my original funnel which is just this is just a different editor right and this will be the thank you page if I edit this I believe I have a video on this don't I so this is the original page yeah that's basically the same thing let's copy all this and let's go back to here let's do that why not why don't I put the same tech the same text here right there we go your unbelievable free ebook and then uh, I have that with some varying texts but wait you're not done yet let's make that bold so it kind of looks the same right make this bold and then this is red right let's make this red it's this color here no that's too light let's make it this color there we go so now is that bold as well or just this was bold as well so let's make this bold as well and bold as well and there you go so save and publish now the other thing is that video what is that video I'm just going to click on here and I'm just going to change the video I have to go into media this is the top 10 strategies thanks and what is it and mastermind offer okay I have a mastermind offer on this with a 750 subscription and stuff like that so I'm not going to bother with that but let's say you had a video and you could you just choose the video here just put the video link here and you can actually see this this I don't think has anything on it right it's just a short little something that's that's a fake video but uh you would put your own video there probably just say thanks go check your inbox your in, your ebook's coming and it's going to be in your inbox and uh, that's basically that's basically it that's all you've got to do and then when you go back to the funnel here you'll see now that I have the two pages and they're both published you see how they're both published and this is the link that you can use to go to it so I can actually um actually I can click on this little copy to clipboard right here I'm going to open a new incognito window and then I'm going to just go like this and uh, that takes me to that page where I have this which basically looks you know very similar to the other one I had right but it took me like just what took me 10 minutes maybe to do this obviously you're going through back and forth and finding images and all these other things it's really that simple to create a funnel with business center it's that simple there's just really <laughs> you know this is a funnel that took me probably a couple of days to do and going back and forth and all the different things but with business center it was so much easier hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions obviously you can always reach out but if you're interested in checking out business center that would be using the MLSP uh, tools so mlsp.jsgangon.com 
is going to take you to the one dollar offer I don't know if they still have it but the when you're watching this but right now there's a one dollar offer for it so if I go to this uh MLSP whoops MLSP dot gs .com, you're going to take you to the offer for the my lead system basic trial and it's basically a, a one dollar right now see one dollar risk free just you actually get 30 days of learning all about it and you can actually try the business center and try all these different things with the tool and I, you should go try it out right it's really really a simple tool and if you have any questions you can always reach out to me directly but until next time have yourself a great day this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Ooh. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.